Jesus Christ, I give you myself to you, Jesus Christ. Find out where you're the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, you're worthy of glory, you're worthy of honor. We thank you, Father, for your presence. We thank you, Father, for your power, Jehovah Jireh. We pray that, Lord Jesus Christ, that you will continue to walk in our midst. That, Lord Jesus Christ, as we gather together, as we hear from you, Jehovah Jireh, that you may have your way. Have your way, Jehovah Jireh, in our hearts. Have your way, Jehovah Jireh. Father, we pray that, Lord Jesus, your word, only your word, will come from you, that is what is going to be ministered to our hearts. And so, Lord, we open up our hearts and we give you glory. Have your way, Jehovah Jireh. We honor your name. We lift up your name. We glorify your name. We thank you for your goodness and let your name reign forever and ever and evermore. It's in Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. 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 Buana Yesu asifiwe. Buana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Pepe Ahewani. Amen, 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 amen. But I'm very glad. I'm, I'm, I'm privileged to be uh, to stand in, in front of you today. Na ushukuru mungu kwa kuweza kusimamisha mahali apa na kupatia munda hu. As you know, tunastar, we're starting a series ambayo naitwa Relationship of Christian to the Church. Buwanesa sifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Relationship of Christian in the Church. Usiano wa mkristo na kanisa. Buwanesa sifiwe. Amen. So, um, with the youth Bible study, uh, katika huduma ya vijana, uh, we were talking and learning about fellowship. Tuna husu shirika. And we learned that fellowship has become something that is very difficult in our generation nowadays. Na ushirika ni mgumu sana because most of us we feel like we can do life without anybody else. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As we look at America the way it's built. People are only focused to themselves. I remember when I was back in Africa. When I was a young child. I would go outside and I would run free. And every time I go out there, there was other young people playing around. And we would have so much fun. It didn't, I didn't care if there was food at home. It didn't matter even if there was good food at home. Soccer was everything to me. I mean, soccer took away the hunger. I could, I could sleep on a soccer ball at night as, a, as my pillow. I was imagining myself playing in Europe. Right now, I'm in the same team with Cristiano Ronaldo. Because it was my long-time dream. Amen. So we were very focused on ourselves. And we were very free when we were Africa. We just go out. And we can play and laugh around. We didn't have TV in the house. My parents didn't have a smartphone. We made our own TVs. We made our own TVs. We made our own entertainment. I don't know. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. You remember those days? You remember those days? America, things changed. Because when we got here, of course I couldn't close my mouth. It was super clean. It was amazing. I was not, I could not fathom that I was really here. I thought I was still dreaming. And somebody needs to wake me up. Maybe I thought that this is my opportunity. This is my opportunity. And maybe I will be the next soccer player in the United States. Hallelujah. Amen. But then something hit me. I went outside of, of a house. Very ready to meet other kids. And I was out there just laughing and jumping up and down. Anybody want to play with me? I found myself standing by myself. There was nobody around. And when I met anybody, I 
Because a woman says I can do everything a man can do. And not just that, they say I can do it better. Yeah. 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 Everybody has their place. If God wanted you to be a man, He will make you a man. If God wanted you to be a woman, He will make you a woman. So you need to know your place. And understand that as long as you are together, you will always need each other. You cannot do it by yourself. I don't care about how America is designed. But what matters the most is how the, what the word of God says. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So today's lesson is, is that is today we are. Today we are. Yes. Okay. Together we are. Ah, kapamoja tupo. Together we are. Kapamoja tupo. Tupo. Yes. So tell your neighbor, say together we are. Kapamoja tupo. Hallelujah. Amen. I know a uh, politician was using this word to say together we can. Yes, we can. But for me today, I'm here to say that together we are. Many times we feel like we can do things without anybody. I don't need anybody. I have food stamps. I have food in the fridge. I have a car. And so whenever we have all this comfort that America gives us, we keep everybody around us away. And we come to the church with the same mentality. Amen. But you know, to me, 
I just, it, I was having this picture of Jesus. When he came to the temple. And when he came in the church, in the temple. He, he found people who were doing businesses. And in him, it broke his heart. And he said, my father's house. It's a place of worship. It's not a place of thieves. I have a feeling that the church of God it's just full of uh, greedy people. Self-observed. Self-observed. Very selfish. Very narcissistic. It's all about me. It's what I want. It's what I want. People are not going to church for God. People are going to church to look for something. What am I going to get out of that building? What am I going to get out of Pastor JJ? We are looking for things that satisfy the flesh. And I feel like if Jesus was to come today, he will come with a whip. He will come with a whip. And he will say that the church of God is the house of worshiping God. It's not a place for prophets. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The church, the church of God has turned into just me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Some people do not even have a standing of where they belong. Because they've lost the meaning and they don't know the importance of what the church really means. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So today's lesson, since we have a, a series, I'm just going to focus on defining the church. Because I don't want to clash with other lessons in the future. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I pray to God that God will open your heart. And what you learn today, you will pass it to other people. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Together we are. Together we are. One person cannot do everything. If one person could do everything, then there was no need for Eve. And the purpose of Eve was not just to create two people. Now, but God had a purpose to create nations. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tell your neighbor. I need you. I need you. Hey, listen. Sometimes we look down on people because of their educational level. Sometimes we look down on people based on their finances. But you forget that the people that you look down on should not be carrying the kingdom of God. We have the power to cut the curse out of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't look down on people. Do not think that you would need somebody here. We all need each other. Every one of us need each other. And that is the biggest mistake in marriage. Whenever the devil puts a thought in you, that you can without your other partner. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, today's lesson is the book of Matthew, chapter 16. And Brother Gilbert was uh, talking about it uh, earlier. I don't know if he stole my sermon. Uh, 
Brother Gilbert alizungumzia andiko hili sijui kama aliiba ujumbe wangu Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the first time we hear the word church. And this word is coming from the mouth of Jesus himself. And we know during that time uh, the Jews used to speak Greek. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Gilbert said we were, he was not going to read it, but we, I'm going to read it. Gilbert said, "Hata uh, soma, lakini mimi nakuna kusome." Hallelujah. Amen. Actually, I'll ask Pastor JJ to read it. Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 19. Tuzasoma Matthew kumina sita, mstari wa kumina tatu, paka kumina tisa. Hallelujah. Nenda lamu na soma basi Yesu akaenda pande za kaisaria Filipi, akawauliza wanafunzi wake akasema. Watu hunena mwana wadamu kwa ni nani? Wakasema wengine hunena uyo hana mbatizaji, wengine elia, wengine eremia, au mojawapo manabihi. Haka wabia, nanyi mwaninena mimi kwa ni nani? Simoni Petro waka jibu waka sewa. Wewe diwe kristo, mwana wa mungu waliha. Yesu waka jibu waka mabia, heli wewe Simoni Bayona, kwa kwa mwili na damu hapi kufunulia hili. Bali baba yangu alia mikoni. Na mina kuambia, wewe diwe Petro na juu ya mwamba huu nitalijenga kanisa lango wala milangu ya kuzimu haitalishida na mini takupa wewe fungua za ufama wa mikoni na loloto utakalo lifungua utakalo lifunga duniani litakua limefungua mikoni na loloto utakalo lifungua duniani litakua limefunguliwa mikoni now I say to you you are Peter which means rock and upon this rock I will build my church and all the power of hell will not overcome it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Upon this rock, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail. Hallelujah. Amen. But what has happened to the church nowadays? It looks like the gates of hell they are the ones leading churches nowadays it looks like people in the churches are still bound it looks like people are not free but God says the gates of hell will not prevail of hell but I'm not going to go too deep in that because I want to give you thirst so that you can come next Sunday because we're going to go deep deeper but now I'm talking about the word church Jesus said that this rock I will build my church he was not saying Peter you are going to be a high priest he didn't say that you are going to be Pope he didn't say that you are going to be Pope you should not marry and have kids. There are religious groups that are taking this scripture. Out from what the Bible is saying. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is not saying upon Peter. That he's going to build his church. The church of God is not built on any man. The church of God is built on Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to look at the foundation of the church. Hallelujah. Amen. The foundation of the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you this technology. <laughs> it's good sometimes, sometimes it's not. But God is always good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the foundation of the church. Who is Jesus? Yes, we know. There's no found, there's no any structure upon about of, of the church. Hakuna if there's no Jesus if there's no Jesus now there's many 
churches they're afraid to talk about Jesus because they want their church to be full they want so many people in the church so they don't want to offend anybody so they're taking water they are putting down the name of Jesus and so all they talk about they say God they are not saying Jesus but there is no church without Jesus and so Jesus is coming to you today and he is saying who am I who am I because that is the beginning of the church that is the foundation of the church the disciples are saying the disciples tell them some are saying you are Elijah some are saying you are Peter you are John the Baptist and that is the same thing out there but you are not saying you are Jesus you are not saying you are Jesus and that is the same thing out there but you are not saying you are Jesus and that is the same thing out there people are saying everything they want to say about Jesus what are the same thing out there people are just putting their ears and listening to the wrong information the answer of who Jesus is is found in the word of God it's found in the word of God you don't need nobody else to tell you who Jesus is there's a spirit of God that lives in you the same spirit that revealed to Peter it's the same Spirit that can reveal it to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is asking you, you and me today. It doesn't matter what other people are saying. What matters is what Kingdom Life Church, community church is saying today. So Jesus is sending today. And he says, Kingdom Life. Kingdom Life. Who am I? Who am I? He is a supplier. That's it. That's it. That's all you know about Jesus. As a supplier. You only come to him when you're empty. But Jesus is much more than that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you only come to Christ to be supplied, then you have not really met Jesus. Because Jesus carries power. Hallelujah. Amen. He carries power that transforms. Hallelujah. Amen. That you are relying to him is not only to supply to you. But they relying for you on him is because of who he is. Hallelujah. Amen. He is much greater. He is much powerful. He cannot be contained. He cannot be compared to no one. Even after him there was never been anybody else. Let Jesus be more than your supplier. Let Jesus be more than your supplier. Because when you fall in love with Jesus, anything can happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is Jesus' king of life? Yesu ni nani? And Peter looks and says, and Peter says, and Peter says, you are Christ, Christ, the Son of the Living God. You are Christ, Christ, the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the rock that Jesus was talking about. Jesus says, upon this revelation, that I am the Lord, that I child of God. I am a savior. Upon this revelation, I will build my church. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no church until you come to that full revelation. Many of us have come to church for 
years. We are accustomed to traditions. We know when to stand. We know when to sing. We know when to give. But we have never had a revelation. Jesus is the Lord. It's the Son of the Living God. It's until you have that revelation that you truly become part of the church. Church member does not make you a part of the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It starts with a revelation that Jesus Christ is Lord, the Son of the Living God. It was easy for the disciples to think of Jesus as supplier. Because at night when Peter could not catch anything, but yet when Jesus showed up the net was so big and they couldn't even pull it all the way in but Peter looked farther more than the fish he looked farther more than the, the supplies and he pulled out before Christ The Bible tells us that not only is Jesus Christ the, the, the Son of the Living God, but He is also the cornerstone. Hallelujah. Amen. When you go home reading the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 19 to 22, read Isaiah 28, 16. Read Isaiah 28, 16. Read Psalms 118, verse 22. He says that the stone that was rejected, it has now become the cornerstone. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's the cornerstone that holds everything together. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm still talking about the foundation of the church. It starts with the revelation that Christ is the Lord. But also Jesus is the cornerstone. Without Jesus, there's no church. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But also, when we read in the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, chapter, uh, verse 22 to 23, of which we're not going to read because of time. It says that Jesus is the head of the church. Jesus is the head of the church. And he is the Jesus is the head of the church. If Jesus is the head, that means there has to be a body. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If Jesus is the head, that means there has to be a body. And the Bible says that Jesus has been lifted up to be the head of the church. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the cornerstone. He is the head. As the judge is not the head. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is the head. You are not the head. See, many times we want to be the head. Did you die for the church? Did you die for the church? Or are you nailed on the cross? Or are you pierced on the side? Then you cannot be the head. You have to submit to the head. You have to submit to the head. It's 
Jesus. Jesus says, Na Yesu anasema, I am the head. Mimi ndiye kichwa. He is the head. Yeye ndiye kichwa. So you ought to submit to him. Kwa hiyo lazima unijenyekeze kwake. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to define the word church. Like I said earlier when we started, during the Jesus time we were speaking Greek. So when Jesus was talking, when he was talking to his disciples, and he said that upon this, this rock, I'll build my church. He was the word church in his word when he was using Greek. He was saying e ecclesia. Ecclesia, yes. He was saying ecclesia. ecclesia. But the word ecclesia means what? Lakini neno ecclesia na maanisha kitu gani? It means to a gathering. Ina maanisha mkusanyiko. Praise the Lord. Amen. It means a gathering. Ina maanisha mkusanyiko. Upon this rock, juu ya mwamba huu, I will build my church. Nitajenga kanisa langu. I will build my gathering. Nitajenga mkusanyiko. I will build where people will be coming together. Nitajenga mahali ambapo watu watakuwa. I will build where people will come and worship me. Nitajenga mahali ambapo watu watakuwa. I will build where people will come and seek me. Nitajenga mahali watu wao huku nitafuta. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's upon this rock. Juu ya mwamba huu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the book of Exodus chapter 19. Katika kitabu cha kutoka sura ya 19. Verse 10 to 17. Mstari wa 10 mpaka wa 17. This is Moses as he has taken the Israelites out of Egypt. Huyu ndio Musa ambaye anawachukua wana Israeli kutoka Misri. Moses has been struggling to get them out. Because Pharaoh will not let them go. But finally Pharaoh could not resist the power of God. Pharaoh was, not le was left with no other option. He had to let them go. After they have departed. God tells Moses. I want you to gather up everybody. And I want them to come before me in front of Mount Sinai. Hallelujah. Amen. That is Ecclesia. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a gathering. God's people. He has taken them out of Egypt. He has taken them out of slavery. And he's taking them to the promised land. And that is why as a church, when we talk about the church, we know that it's a process. We are walking just as the Jews were walking going to the promised land. And our promised land is heaven. But until we get there, we have to gather. We have to gather. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the 